welcome back students uh, in last class we have discussed about emulsions different types of emulsions uh, classification of emulsifying agents and techniques to identify types of emulsions today we will discuss about preparation of emulsions there are four different methods to prepare emulsions dry gum method wet gum method bottle method and other methods so before going in details of different preparation methods i would like to explain you different type of oils so there are three different type of oils mineral oils whose origin is from mineral sources fixed oil basically vegetable oils comes under fixed oil and volatile oil those oils which are volatile in nature comes um, under this category so mixture of oil water and gum proportion uh, depends on type of oil we are going to use in the preparation of emulsion so if it's in fixed oil then oil is to water is to gum ratio should be 4 is to 2 is to 1 it means 4 if you take 4 pods of oil then 2 pods of water and one part of the gum should be taken in preparation then if it's in mineral oil then oil is to water is to gum ratio will be 3 is to 2 is to 1 3 parts of oil then 2 parts of water and one part of the gum should be taken in preparing of primary emulsion then if it's an volatile oil the oil which we which we selected in preparation of emulsion is volatile oil then the ratio will change into 2 is to 2 is to 1 2 parts of oil then two parts of water and one part of the gum so this is the standard ratio of preparing emulsions whenever you select an oil for an emulsion categorize this oil just just see in in which category category does it falls it does it falls in the volatile oil category or mineral oil category or fixed oil category and depending on type of the oil the selection of the oil is to water is to gum ratio depends then coming to different methods of preparation dry gum method in this method what you will do you will first take oil then you will add gum in it in this case you are not mixing gum with the water in initial stages so oil plus gum were proposed proportionate oil plus gum were taken as per the uh, standard formula ratio if it is in fixed oil then four parts of the oil and one part of the gum is taken and they are mixed together thoroughly then you will start adding water drop by drop with a vigorous stirring until you hear clicking sound and when the emulsion turns into white color due to total internal reflection then the primary emulsion is formed then you will take remaining amount of water and add it and you will make it into the final volume so this is dry gum method where you are taking oil and gum then you are mixing them together then you are adding water drop by drop with vigorous stirring until you hear the clicking sound and the the preparation turns to white in color so this is dry gum method next you have a wet gum method in this method you will take gum and water you will mix gum and water together then you will make it into a smooth mucilage then you will add oil drop by drop with continuous stirring you will stir until you hear the clicking sound and the emulsion turns to the preparation turns to white in color then the primary emulsion is formed then you will make up the volume with the uh, make up the volume with the uh, water friends you can uh, notice one thing in last class we had discussed about the dispersed phase and dispersion phase dispersed phase and continuous phase so the substance which is converted into minute globules and dispersed uniformly in the vehicle is a dispersed phase in the first uh, method of preparation dry gum method you are adding water drop by drop it means you are trying to reduce the globule size of the water it means in dispersed phase there will be water so the emulsion prepared using the dry gum method will be water in oil type then you have wet gum method here we said you will mix water and gum together you will make a smooth mucilage of the gum then you will add oil drop by drop here you are trying to reduce the globule size of the oil it means oil is in dispersed phase so the type of emulsion formed when you use wet gum method is oil in water method oil in water uh, uh, emulsion then uh, you have a bottle method in this method uh, if the oil uh, uh, selected is a volatile oil then if you go by a dry gum method or wet gum method there is a chance that oil get uh, evaporated so you have a bottle method in bottle method you will take a closed nice closed bottle uh, you will add oil and gum calculated amount of oil and gum to it and you will shake it vigorously then you will add all the water at once 
remember in previous two methods we are adding either oil or water drop by drop here you are adding all at once and you will start shaking it vigorously until primary emulsion is formed so this is bottle method of preparing emulsion and at last you have other methods in other methods basically you are using homogenizers it may be a silver sun homogenizer it may be an hand homogenizer or it may be a colloidal mill what does homogenizers do uh, basically the principle involved in the homogenizer is large globules are broken into smaller globules by passing them under pressure through a narrow orifice so initially you will make a primary emulsion a chorus emulsion then you will force this chorus emulsion to pass through homogenizer so what does homogenizer do this homogenizer in, uh, this homogenizer basically uh, allows this chorus emulsion to pass through narrow orifice under high pressures and reduce the globule size and convert this chorus emulsion into the fine emulsion. So chorus emulsion is prepared using mortar and pestle by general trituration methods. Then hand homogenizer uh, is used to reduce the globule size uh, into uh, the desired uh, global size then uh, hand homogenizer is an hand operated uh, hand operated then chorus emulsion is uh, passed to the fine orifice emulsion is placed in the hopper of the homogenizer and the handle is moved up and down which forces this chorus emulsion to pass through the fine orifice so this is one one method or the one equipment used in preparation of emulsion then you have silver sun homogenizer silver sun homogenizer contain three basic parts one is an emulsifier head which is covered with a fine stainless steel mesh then uh, you have blades in the uh, emulsifier head so these blades basically are helpful in cutting the globules into minute and uh, required sizes then you have a motor which rotates these blades so first you have a mesh you you have a stainless steel mesh and in between the stainless steel mesh you have blades in it so when these blades are connected to motor these blades will rotate with the high pressure and creates the shear force this shear force sucks the liquid into uh, through these uh, stainless uh, stainless steel seal so the liquid or chorus globules which are entering through this uh, through this sieve are being size reduced by the movement of these blades with high pressure so in that mechanism these chorus globules or these larger globules are reduced into the finer globules or uh, 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 it's converted into the fine emulsion then again this procedure repeats cycling process occurs until you attain the desired globule size this is silver sun homogenizer there will be a motor attached to the head the head contains the blade and is covered with the stainless steel sieve and the motor is switched on these blades will be rotated with the high shear and the high pressure and this will suck the liquid in through the sieves and then that this sucked liquid contain the globules these globules get size reduced then the finer emulsion is formed uh, when compared to when compared to uh, other kind of equipment so students this is about uh, different types of uh, preparation methods of emulsions uh, in next class we will discuss about the stability of emulsions thank you for watching this video